Welcome to the lecture video for Chapter 10, International Trade and Capital Flows. We are all part of the global financial system, which includes many different countries and their unique currencies. As countries' economies operate, they trade goods and services with other countries. If a country exports more than it imports, it has a trade surplus. On the flip side, if it imports more than it exports, it has a trade deficit. Historically, trade balances of just the merchandise shipped between countries in planes, trains, trucks, and, and the like were counted. Today's countries include not only goods shipped, but also services, financial instruments, and unilateral transfers to account for trade balance. This more holistic approach is measured in a country's current account balance. This graph shows the current account balance and the merchandise trade balance in billions of dollars from 1960 to 2012. If the lines are above the zero dollars, the United States is running a positive trade balance in current account balance. If the line falls below zero dollars, the United States is running a trade deficit and a deficit in its current account balance. In this graph, uh, these same items, trade balance and current balance, are shown in relationship of the size of the U.S. economy, or as a percentage of GDP, from 1960 to 2012. In this figure, each element of the current balance involves a flow of financial payments between countries. The top line shows exports of goods and services leaving the home country. The second line shows the money received by the home country for its exports. The third line shows imports received by the home country, and the fourth line shows the payments sent abroad by the home country in exchange for these imports. Financial capital is another name for currency or the value that currency holds in global trade. Each country demands and supplies this financial capital to grow their economies. A country can supply its own financial capital through its own saving, denoted by the S in the equation. These are savings by individuals or firms. The other components of supply is the balance of trade or the trade balance. This includes imports and exports. If imports are greater than exports, then financial capital is flowing in as a supply. The opposite is also possible, which we'll be, we will discuss later. The demand side of financial capital is uh, private, non-governmental investment, denoted by the I in the equation. G, or governmental spending, minus taxation, is the other component of the demand side. At the bottom of this slide, we see the equation altered to show a trade deficit. In the case of a trade deficit, the saving and the taxation component is not sufficient to supply sufficient capital to cover the investment in the government spending in an economy. At the bottom of this slide, we see the equation altered to show a trade deficit. In the case of a trade deficit, the saving and taxation component will not supply sufficient financial capital to cover investment in government spending. This slide shows the rearranging of the equation to show a trade surplus situation. Is, trade, is a trade deficit good or bad? The answer is it depends. First, it depends on what the what uh, extra financial capital is used for in the case of a trade deficit. Are these foreign funds are these foreign funds being used to invest in the future or provide for current consumption? Trade deficits are better if used to invest in the economy for the future. This leads us to the second point of turning the deficit into future growth. Finally, a deficit can be good if the, if the relationships and investments from foreign entities are long-term and not prone to flight. If foreign financial capital is removed suddenly, it is bad for the economy.